Hey, I'm RC, and this is the episode 4 about creating an HTML5 multiplayer game. If you haven't watched the last episode, then I would highly recommend you to do so by clicking the annotation on the screen. So in this video, what I'm planning to add is um, interaction. So the player will be able to use his keyboard in order to move his um, character, and it will also be able to see the other players moving. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is to separate sockets and players. So right now the X position and the Y position is directly linked with the socket, but it makes little sense if we want to expand it. So what we are gonna do is to create a new list that will be the player list. And a player, let's create a constrictor. So there are many ways to create um, a constrictor. This is the way I'm gonna use. You can use any way you want, pretty much. So we start off with um, the different attributes. Give me one sec. So in order to create a player, we will need to pass its ID as a parameter. That will be the only parameter for now. Obviously, we can do more than that. It will also have a number, the same than the socket. So this over here dies. And I think that's pretty much it. And then we do it itself. So when the player connects, we assign a random ID to our socket and we add it to the socket list. But what we are going to do also is to create a player with the socket ID and add the player to the socket list. Player, and when the player will when the um, socket will disconnect, so when the player will disconnect, we will also remove it from the player list like this. And one little thing we also need to change is right here we in our loop, we loop through every socket and then we update the X and the Y and stuff like that. Now it does not really work. Uh, what we need to do is um, we need to loop through the players because that's a, the, the player contain the X and the Y. So we increase the X and the Y of the player. Then we create a little package information and then we loop through the sockets and we emit them emit the pack to every socket so this should work so let's just save and test it so as usual when you want to test the project you open the command prompt you go to the root of your project and you type node app.js server started you can connect and as you can see we have the same behavior than before so we see multiple numbers and everything's right and we have separated the player and the socket. Okay, so now I'm gonna cover interactivity. So with the keyboard. So if you n are not really familiar with that, you can click the annotation on the screen to go check out my single player um, tutorial about interactivity. It's exactly the same thing um, if it's multiplayer. So we add um, pressing right, pressing left, pressing up and pressing down to the player. It will track the state of the key presses. We also have a maximum speed. It's more like an acceleration for now, but eventually it will be a real maximum speed. And then we have the update position, which looks something like that. So this will call every frame and it will um, update the X and Y. So this over here will overwrite this. So instead of doing plus plus, we're gonna be update position right here. And now the, the tricky part is how to update those values. Um, because the, the server does not have access to the client. So it cannot, like a server cannot know if the client is pressing a key or not. The client needs to send that information when it's done. So all we're gonna do it is um, like this. So this is the um, client part. What we are going to do is we add a um, on key down. So this function is called whenever the, the player press a key down. So once again, I've covered that in the single player um, tutorial. So this function is called when a key is pressed. If the key code is 68, so the D key has been pressed, we will emit a package um, called key press and it will contain the input ID. So right, down, left, or up, and it will also display the state. So if we have press it down or up, and we have exactly the same thing over here, but for the up state, and it's gonna send um, false states. Well, this will send true states, 
And so right now we emit the package key press, but on the server we, we do nothing with that package. So we'll need to handle it over here. So how it's gonna work, it's um, gonna look something like that. So on key press, so whenever I receive a package with the ID key press, what I'm gonna do is I need to, I have access to the player over here. So I need to modify the press right, press left property and it will look something like that. So if the data input ID is left, then I'm gonna set the pressing left to the state. So over here, so like there. And I think that's pretty much it. So on the client, the client press a key, it emits a package, the server receives the package, and parse it so it um, does the right action. So modify the pressing up, left, or down. Then in the update loop, we update the position. Updating the position takes into consideration the pressing right, left, up, and down. And then it will create a package that will send it back to the, the client and it will draw everything. So this is pretty solid. Okay, so now let's test the game. So we start the server, we connect with one player, we connect with the other player. And as you can see, um, by pressing the keyboard, I can move the six if the focus is on this player. If I click on the other player, I can move this one. And every single player sees all the other players. So that's pretty neat. Um, so I guess that will be pretty much it about this um, episode. I hope you liked it. And in the next video, what I'm planning to add is bullets. So a player will be able to shoot bullets and all the players around him will also be able to see the bullets. So thanks again for watching and see ya.